Please do sit down. <clears throat> As the Vice-Chancellor of the University, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this afternoon's ceremony for the Department of Allied Health Professions and Midwifery and the Department of Nursing, Children's Learning Disability, Mental Health and Social Work. May I introduce the platform party and welcome on my left, Mrs. Sal Jarvis, the Pro Vice Chancellor for Education and Student Experience. And on my right, Mrs. Jackie Kelly, Dean of the School of Health and Social Work. And on my extreme right, uh, uh, Mrs. Sharon Harrison Barker, the academic registrar who carries the mace which you see in front of me. And in particular, can I also uh, at this point welcome all of you uh, those of you who are about to graduate, and of course, all your friends and relatives who have come to uh, join with us in this wonderful celebration. I do hope you have a, a, a truly marvellous afternoon. I have pleasure now in calling upon Mrs. Sal Jarvis to address the Assembly. Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to all our graduates and their family and friends who join us on this important day. I am so delighted to be sharing this special day with you to celebrate your success and to look ahead to the future. Today is the result of your tremendous hard work and it is a great achievement. I know that many individuals will have played a role in your journey and I'm sure that you will wish to acknowledge the support of family, friends, lecturers, and a myriad of others who have provided support. However, today is your day, a time to celebrate your achievement. Having now completed your studies, your horizon changes to the world of work or further study, and you should be rightly proud of your successes so far. Certainly, we are very proud of you, and of the contribution that you will continue to make to society. We live in challenging times, and whatever sector we are working in, no one is immune. In the health professions and in social work, you will be all too familiar with the challenges. You will be confronted with the need to do more for less, face competing priorities, and it may sometimes seem a thankless task. However, I am confident that your talent, coupled with the business-facing education ethos at the university in which you have been immersed, which has immersed you in your profession, will have prepared you for your professional life ahead. Across professional and academic study, you have achieved ability in your subject areas and a resilience and enterprising outlook that will equip you for the challenges of your particular sector. We are rightly proud of our mission to be internationally renowned as the UK's leading business-facing university. But what does this mean for you in your own professional area? I believe it means creating excellent, caring practitioners, committed and ambitious individuals who are also collegiate team players, resilient, creative and innovative. In graduating from this university, I know you will have practiced and demonstrated all of these attributes along with the social responsibility and respect for others that we value dearly and take seriously in our graduates. And so I know you will go on to enjoy rewarding careers and be able to face life's challenges. I know that you will continue to grow and to learn and I hope you believe that choosing to study at the University of Hertfordshire has contributed to that success. We would love you to continue to feel part of the university communi community as an alumnus and a part of our worldwide alumni community. Each of you is valuable to us and I hope that you will keep in touch and perhaps share the experiences to support others to gain the skills and insights which you now have. All that remains for me to do is once again sincerely congratulate you on your outstanding achievements and on behalf of the University of Hertfordshire Thank you for being with us. I wish you the very best for your future lives and careers.
We shall now receive the graduates of the Department of Allied Health Professions and Midwifery and the Department of Nursing, Children's, Learning Disability and Mental Health and of Social Work. Candidates are presented to a by a senior member of academic staff from their school. Awards, sponsorships and prizes that have been given in the final year of study will be read out prior to the graduate's name. I first call upon Mrs. Carol Yearley. School of Health and Social Work, Department of Allied Health Professions and Midwifery, Master of Midwifery Degree, Louise Beryl Elizabeth Wright. <laughs> Master of Science Degree in Advanced Physiotherapy, Katie Savage. With distinction, Ruth Tubbs. Adrian Stephen Vise. Master of Science degree in Advanced Physiotherapy, Neuromusculoskeletal, Laura Ann Eckert. Kavita Cortadia. <laughs> Mohit Cortadia. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Midwifery and Women's Health, Nikki Wilkins. Master of Science degree in Sport and Exercise Rehabilitation, Jane Simona Collins. <laughs> Bachelor, sorry, Bachelor of Science degree in Pre-Registration Midwifery, Amina Hanna Mansour Abdul Razak. With first class honours, Rebecca Marie Barnes. <laughs> Larissa Charlesworth. <laughs> With first class honours, Courtney Davidson. Gemma Helen Dodd. <laughs> Fiona Doherty. <laughs> Winner of the University Prize, Selma L. Hurari. Lauren Goldsworthy. <laughs> With first class honours, Sarah Googe. <laughs> Kate Suzanne Hayward. Liberty May Hazelhurst. <laughs> Mary, 
Marina Heliardis. <laughs> Chloe Hudson. With first class honours, Amanda Hudson. Vic Lisa Victoria Isles. With first class honours, Daniela Tuluwani John. With first class honours, Susan Jane Jowett. With first class honours, Nicole Patricia Kiriakides. <laughs> Caroline Joseph McAllister. <laughs> Sorry, Josephine. With first class honours, Faye Louise Morris. With first class honours, Emily Victoria Newnham. With first class honours, Sarah Jane Patrick. With first class honours, Lucy Charlotte Paul. Sarah Rachel Perry. With first class honours, Rebecca Jane Pheasant. With first class honours, Claire Elizabeth Prue. Zara Raza. <laughs> Rachel Mary Russell. <laughs> Amy Louise Skellett. <laughs> Portia Spencer. Zara Stevenson Banks. <laughs> Lena Nandawula Tinka. <laughs> Rachel Lauren Tooley. Jane Villamore. Claire Walker. With first class honours, Stephanie Elizabeth Wall. With first class honours, Catherine Waterman. <laughs> Caris Annie Wheeler. <laughs> Sarah Louise Williams.
Bachelor of Science degree in pre-registration midwifery shortened. Jacqueline Ann Arnold. <laughs> Rebecca Emily Matthews. <laughs> Catherine Grace Newman. Akua Tum. <laughs> Diploma of Higher Education in Maternal and Neonatal Health Studies, Georgia Louise Trim. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Paramedic Science, with first class honours, James Wilkinson. <laughs> Foundation degree science in paramedic science, Anisha Armin. <laughs> Jode Bansell. Imogen Loretta Chamberlain. <laughs> Thomas Durand. <laughs> Katie Drummond. <laughs> Nicholas Charles Dunn. Jessica Marie Dunn Reed, <laughs> Jake Flanders, <laughs> Sean Harry Glendenning, David Hawkins. <laughs> Monica Jarche. <laughs> With distinction, Stephen Mark Johnston. With distinction, Stephanie Little. <laughs> With distinction, Thomas Martin. <laughs> Daniel McCarry. With distinction and winner of a university prize, Liam Meller. <laughs> David Merrison. <laughs> Daniel Richard Phillips. Jonathan Michael Richmond. <laughs> Rebecca Tippy. <laughs> Sarah Vickers. <laughs> Jody Waite.
Bachelor of Science degree in Physiotherapy, Fabiana Miranda Gomez Hayes. <laughs> Geraldine Rosemont Rogers. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Diagnostic Radiography and Imaging, Olsen Elise. Azieb Haptamarian. <laughs> Amita Shrethra. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Radiotherapy and Oncology. Stephen Graham Fuller. Janelle Williams. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Mental Health, Recovery and Social Inclusion. Winner of the University Prize, Donna Klingsbong. Nancy Nayamandi. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Social Work. With distinction and winner of University Prize, Nua Kahina Bakiti. With distinction, Marv Balsey. <laughs> Jalisa Cryella Blake. <laughs> Joanne Lisa Boyne. With distinction, Imiola Olabumi Hana Ikong. <laughs> Rio Emmanuel. <laughs> Mwengi Fairburn. With distinction, Margaret Farley. <laughs> With distinction, Mary Ann Francis. <laughs> With distinction, Victoria Lubange Gooby. With distinction, Tasneem Hussein. <laughs> With distinction, Annie Jawando. <laughs> Bemigi Kool Johnson. With distinction, Irene Johnson. <laughs> Margaret Carong. <laughs> With distinction, a winner of the Hearts County Council Award, Mike Kanjira.
Mevwish Kasif. Shamasa Kimba. With distinction, Rachel McSorley. Grace Batoni Atina Udami. <laughs> Natasha Redley. <laughs> Jacqueline Samania. With distinction, Jade Shaler. <laughs> Olianin Oyarola Sukunbi. <laughs> With distinction, Vanessa Rachel Louise Taylor. Priscilla Namotli Taiti. <laughs> Leroy Tummings. <laughs> Anita Verma. Nafsita Odeoyen Yusuf. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Social Work, Kirsti Afreyu Manu. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, it's a, it's a very, very great pleasure that I have now to be the very first person to congratulate all our new graduates. What a fantastic job you've done. I hope everyone will join me in saying absolutely marvelous, absolutely wonderful performance. Well done. Can I also say how uh, enthusiastic you have been as well in terms of the uh, uh, congratulations, well done. Um, I now call upon Selma El Huari, who's going to address the assembly on behalf of the graduates. Vice-Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, I stand here before you all on this memorable day to honour our journey to this point. I'm sure I can speak on behalf of all of us and say that this road hasn't been easy for any of us. For our parents, for our families and for all those who supported us. I would like to start by thanking the university. We will forever be indebted to their excellent teaching, their outstanding state-of-the-art facilities and that LRC we've all called our second home. I would like to particularly thank all the personal tutors. Without their relentless pursuit to see us succeed, we wouldn't be standing here today, so thank you. And last but not least, I would like to thank all our families by standing by us every step of the way. I hope today we've made you proud. My journey started a while ago, and I can say that I've experienced tears, laughter, failure, and heartache. There have been many points where it would have just been easier to just give up. It got to the point where I considered of changing my career and becoming a drip stand. But I persevered, and my university experience has taught me a lot about myself 
Um, no matter how hard life gets, I will always fight because quitting is never an option. Do you remember our first day at university when we all arrived fresh-faced, excited, packed lunch in hand, and looking around trying to figure out who our friends would be for the next three years? Our subject matters may differ, but our struggles were all the same. Worrying about getting to lectures on time before the lecture locked the door. <laughs> our night shifts at the LRC, struggling to submit, submit our assignments on time. I don't know about you, but I was always a lastminute.com kind of person. And what about always complaining about not having a social life, but we all had annual passes to the forum. <laughs> but what really made this journey are the people we shared it with. The kind of friends that still took you seriously when you're trying to practice for a practical exam and you're in the LRC on all fours giving birth to a jumper. <laughs> That's the making of true friendship. The ones you know you've made for life. And I know we will all continue to support each other beyond our journey here. I stand here before you today, not only as a graduate, I stand here before you today, not only as the girl that stumbled upon many hurdles, but the girl that finally crossed the finish line. I stand here before you today, not only as a graduate, but as a professional. Like myself, I know a lot of my colleagues have already found employment and we've already started our careers, and I'm proud of every single one of you. We're leaving this university today, not only with fond memories, but with the skills to actually make a difference. To lend an ear, to be a voice for those who have no voice, and to bring life into this world. So on behalf of the School of Health and Social Work, thank you, Vice-Chancellor, for receiving us. Thank you. Selma, thank you very much for those very kind words. And you touched on two things uh, which I might talk about. I'm going to talk about one of them. You, you spoke about uh, being professional. And of course, that's part of the attributes that we absolutely hope that uh, you in particular from your school all leave the University of Hertfordshire with. Um, but you also spoke very, I think, very uh, uh, passionately about friendship. So I actually want to focus a little bit more on the values that we have as a university. I'm going to come on to those in a second. But another thing which just uh, uh, tweaked my uh, um, conscience, you were, you were talking about the LRCs, and you see, you, you, because uh, the LRCs tend to be largely populated by the students, not by the staff, you think we don't know what you're doing in the LRCs. But I have a, a wonderful lady who looks after my office, and she also... Uh, uh, tidies up in the LRCs and she can tell me exactly how many students have been working in the LRCs by how many pizza boxes she's had to clear up each morning. So there you are, I've, uh, I've got you tabbed. What though uh, should we make of uh, a year which has brought so many changes? We've had uh, Brexit in the summer, we've had uh, uh, Donald Trump, we've had uh, President Putin, We've had Resi in, in, in uh, Italy. We've had so many changes. I suspect when we look back, uh, 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 we will think of this year as one of those years which genuinely did change history and move things forward. But what should you do as our new graduates uh, um, uh, in, an, uh, in an environment where there is so much change? Well, my recommendation to you is to hold fast to those values which you have and which you hold dear. And we as a university have a set of values which we hope uh, you are able to take with you uh, as you now graduate and leave us. And the first of those uh, uh, values uh, is friendship. We absolutely believe that as a university we want to be a warm uh, and friendly place for all the students who come here and indeed friendly uh, for the staff who work here at the university. Let me just say, I think, uh, without question, your lives will be happier if you embrace a friendly attitude. And indeed, the lives of those who you come across will be happier if you embrace a, fr a friendly attitude. So that's our, our first value. Our sec do, do you know we've got a little, a, a little um, 
uh, a mnemonic. It's called FACES, and it tells you what our uh, university values are. So friendly, ambitious, collegiate, enterprising, and student-focused. So what about ambitious? Well, of course, I absolutely want each and every one of you to be ambitious. Ambitious for yourselves and your new uh, jobs and your employment, but also ambitious for your communities. I want you to uh, uh, go out into the, the big wide world and try and enjoy and enhance the communities in which you live and work. And of course, I also hope that you can take away ambition for your families uh, and try and do the very best for your families and, and ensure that they uh, um, uh, achieve all that they can in this world. What about collegiate? Well, I suspect for a group who are uh, uh, graduating from your school, collegiality is hugely important. What I mean by collegiality is that when you're in the workplace and you're working hard and you're ambitious and you're friendly and all that stuff, you're also, though, working for the greater good of the, uh, uh, might be a hospital, who knows, uh, it might be in the paramedical services, I don't know, but whatever, that you're working for the greater good of the service that you're committed to. And I think that's deeply important. Then we as a university like to consider ourselves to be internationally renowned as the UK's leading business-facing university. And as a business-facing university, of course, we would like all of you to hold dear as one of your values, enterprise. And I believe that it doesn't matter what job you go into, you can be enterprising. You can do new things, you can introduce new methods, you can introduce new processes which will enhance the workplace in which you find yourselves. So please, as you leave here, keep a hold of that idea of being enterprising in whatever you do. And lastly, uh, uh, we, and I'm looking now at my colleagues behind me, uh, have, I hope, demonstrated that we are entirely student-focused uh, uh, focused on the young people, perhaps not so young people, who come to us and are educated in this great university. But please don't think that just because you have graduated, uh, uh, you should either forget about the university or consider that we might forget about you. That is absolutely not the case. We want you, and when we say student focused, we mean a focus on those who have both uh, are, are with us at the time as students, but also those who have graduated and become our alumni. Please do retain contacts with the university. If you have problems, I'm sure my colleagues behind will still be interested in hearing and helping and hoping that you uh, can make the best of them. <clears throat> so those are our values as a university. And can I say, if as graduates of this university, you can leave here and display those values, we will be enormously proud of you, as we are today in your achievements in graduation. Let me finish with just one last uh, uh, comment, and the comment really is about those sitting immediately in front of me, because I have no doubt that the journey that you have made getting to graduation uh, uh, has been made much easier by the support of your uh, mums, dads, friends, in some cases, I think here, even uh, perhaps daughters and sons. Uh, I have just no doubt that your families, your friends have made the journey so much uh, 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 easier for you and so much richer an experience for you. And I wonder if you would join with me in thanking uh, all those who have helped you on this journey today. Thank you very much. Now, the celebrations will continue uh, on a less formal basis in the marquee, which is behind the, uh, the main building here. And so after the academic uh, procession have left, if you'd like to follow us up there, there will be tea and coffee and mince pies and such like good things uh, uh, on, 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 uh, uh, available for you there. Ladies and gentlemen, would you mind being upstanding for the academic procession? <clears throat> 